Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are going to see how to install guest editions in our virtual machine. Now before diving into the installation part, I'll just explain briefly what guest editions are and why we should install them. The guest editions are designed to be installed inside a virtual machine after the guest operating system has been installed. They consist of device drivers and system applications that optimize the guest operating system for better performance and usability. Now if you want to read more about the guest editions, I have enclosed a link in the description which you can open. Now some of the features that are offered by guest editions are Number 1. Mouse pointer integration Number 2. Shared folders These provide an easy way to exchange files between the host and the guest Number 3. Better video support This is one of the most common reason why we install guest editions so that we can get full screen or widescreen display Then seamless windows with this feature, the individual windows that are displayed on the desktop of the virtual machine can be mapped on the host desktop as if the underlying application was actually running on the host. Then number 5, generic host or guest communication channels. Then number 6, time synchronization. Number 7, shared clipboard. With the guest edition installed, the clipboard of the guest operating system can optionally be shared with your host operating system. And number 8, automated logins. Anyways, let's now see how we can install the guest edition in our virtual machine. So I have Ubuntu desktop operating system running on Oracle VirtualBox. Now the first thing is to click on devices in the menu bar. And then click on insert guest editions CD image. Now this will insert the guest editions CD image into the operating system and you can observe there's one CD ROM visible on the taskbar or the menu bar. Now since there is no pop-up message or pop-up dialog box intimating the user that an image has been inserted, most of the time users try to click on the insert guest edition CD image option again. And in that case, we get this error unable to insert the virtual optical disk because the disk image is already inserted or mounted. So if we click on insert guest editions CD image, it's going to give us this error. So we don't have to click on insert guest editions again and again. Instead, we just have to open up this mounted guest edition CD image. And when we click on it or when we open it, we can see all the installation files which are required to install the guest editions and uh, since I am running Ubuntu, I have to run this file that is vbox linux editions dot run. So let's open terminal now. It's easier to work with terminal. Then the first command that I'm going to run is find mount or find mnt. This is going to give us the exact location and the name of the CD image. And you can see this is the folder that we need to open up. So I'll just copy it, then type sudo space, then paste the directory that we have copied, then forward slash, then I have to type in the name of the file that we have to run. So I'll just write vbox linux editions dot run. and then it will ask for password so just enter the password and hit enter the installation of the guest edition will begin but you can see that it is not completed so we have to fix it so the first command that i will run is sudo apt hyphen get space update now apt hyphen get space update this command downloads the package list from the repositories and updates them to get information on the newest versions of packages and their dependencies and it will do this for all the repositories and ppas let the update complete then after that the second command that we have to run is sudo apt hyphen get space install space build essential space gcc space make space perl space dkms and then just type y and hit enter let the installation complete 
all right now we have to reinstall the guest edition so just use your arrow keys to scroll to the command which we used to install the guest edition and hit enter now this time the installation will succeed and we will get this message running kernel modules will not be replaced until the system is restarted so that means we just have to restart our system so just type sudo space reboot and the system is going to reboot Now after the system has rebooted, the guest edition installation is complete and you can start using the features that are offered by the guest edition. As an example, I'll just show how to resize the display. So that means the guest edition installation was successful and you can go ahead use your virtual machine the way you want. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hey guys and welcome back. Today we are